I want to know why, why did you choose Gretzky and Jerry and Pelé? Like why these guys and how was it trying to secure these interviews and were they good guys? Like, were they nice? Yeah. So like it, it was very challenging as you might imagine to, you know, secure these guys the great, cause, cause they have nothing to prove. Look, they, they, they already did it. Anything in, in addition to kind of media wise or whatever is, is basically a liability, right? Why, why do, what do I need to, I don't need to prove anything. I don't need to say anything. I'll, I'll just shut up and stay the greatest of all time. So what do they need? So I had to persuade basically them or their management um, for months and months and months that I was doing something different, that this is very, you know, a special idea that, that, you know, is a whole, I think redefining what sports is. They didn't really, they couldn't, get it through their head, somehow it worked. Uh, and uh, the, these are athletes that like, you know, when I was a kid, I was inspired by. And, and I think it's sort of, I was going for kind of athletes that were basically undeniably the greatest of all time in their respective sports. Um, you know, you can't get everybody you want and I'm not gonna like talk about the people that I didn't get, but you know, <laughs> you do the best you can. And, 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 and you know, I knew no one was gonna listen to me you know, who cares, Gabe Polsky, you know, they, they want to, if anyone's going to deliver the message, it's got to be the greatest of all time, you know, because they say, ah, oh, well, that guy, you know, he wasn't that good, or this woman, or it has to be the greatest, you know, and, and the, the risk was, is that maybe these guys didn't agree with me, or didn't, you know, see it the same way, or, you, you know what I'm saying? Of course. And when I started talking about these things with them, first of all, they didn't even know why I was there. The message never got through that when I sat down with them, they were, they were, they didn't know, they just said, okay, well, you've got, you know, this amount of time, I'm just doing a regular interview. And so when I started getting into it and talking about these things, they were so very, their eyes lit up, you know, mm -hmm. because it's so rare that they, they get to talk about the creative aspects of the game and, you know, everything from parenting, you know, all, all the things in the film. And, and, and they understand that, that, that it's, they like it when somebody can look at what they do in, on a deeper level and, 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 and how that, that artistry of it. What is that artistry? And know? I think that as a, as a pro athlete, what was so amazing and eye-opening for me, because that's how I felt. I felt like my whole body just went, I was like leaning in and wanting to know more, not just about what they felt in their experience, but even I wanted to know more about all the other greats. Like what was their experience? And the translation from athlete, right? Because because these these men that you talk to are all professional athletes, former greats. But the translation to the everyday person is so wound inside the theme of this movie. Um, because we are all the greatness, right? We're all the greatest of our own lives. And I think that that was so beautiful how you were able to pull out these these very special qualities of these guys that um, made it to the highest level of their of their sport.